away from the house. Spoken. In the rain? There's a bit of woo. And it's as dark as tar. Oh, sure, I can see. You have the eyes of a goat. Smoking a pipe now. I ran out of cigs. It's Dad's old chimney. I suppose I can't blame you for whatever you choose to do on the night your father died. He died three days ago. During the general time that your father died. So I've specialized tonight. I suppose. Then I'll use some. Can you answer me a question? What? Have you ever heard from Fiona? It's the human race that gets me this night. Fine, don't answer them. Never. I've never heard from Fiona since our childhood days. And your heart's still broken? Yes. Do you know where she is? I do. In Wicklow, with a husband and three daughters. Why don't you just get over her like other people do? I don't know what other people do, and I don't care. Why do you do what you do? Why do you stay over there in that lonely house? It's not lonely. You should fly. Once you're ma'am, once you're alone, you should make plans to fly away. Why don't you fly? It may come to that. Ha! You'll never leave. I might. Tony's up to mischief. What kind? He says I don't love the farm. Do ya? He says I'm not a Riley. Then what are ya? He claims I'm a Riley in name, but a cat in the face. And he's making noises like he might not sign it over. Well, that's not right. He's always been half craft. Not like your da. May he rest in peace. He is full on. It was me that found him, you know. He looked in on him and was going to go, but for his hand. His one hand lay outside the sheet. And I found myself looking at it. He came across me, there was no life in it, and he was gone. <clears throat> called out and ma'am came, her face went white. So I gave her a drink of water, but didn't the glass have his teeth in it? No. <laughs> and it was awful. She was wild. Won't drink from a glass since. I can testify to that. She said it tastes like teeth. <laughs> ah, dear da, he was here. No, he's not. Where do we go? Do we go into the sky? No, the ground. And what's the sky for? Now. It's for now. Now. Seize the day, is that it? Season do what to? What do you do? Me? I smoke. You should quit that. Why? I don't know, but do it. The girl needs a reason. I hear a voice sometimes when I'm in the fields, and the voice says, go. I came across a patch of white heather this morning. White? You did not. That's only in shops. Wild. Wild white heather? That's good luck. They say. So is Tony right? Do you not love the farm? Love? I hated for a prison. I came up out of it like a tree. And here I am with it around me. Then let Tony do what he wants and follow the voice. Do you mean it? I'm saying it. Run off. Where? The airport. Sure. Take move times, I hear it's good. <laughs> no, it's all here. <clears throat> Sitting on top of me. But the voice said go. And what am I? St. Joan following voices. <laughs> My life is fixed down with a rock on each corner. By what? There's the green fields. And the animals living off. And over that, there's us. Living off the animals. And over that, there's that which tends to us and lives off us. Whatever that is, holds me here. No. The voice I hear in the fields wants me in the fields. Then why does it say go? I don't know. Everything doesn't tally. I don't feel the land like you do. Count your blessings. You have pagan things in your eyes sometimes. My eyes, is it? Your mother says you're mad. I'm not. I am. Shall we go in, then? How are you mad? People don't appeal to me that much. Ah, oh, sure, that's normal. Who likes people over there? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just more with nature than people. Stories I heard of when I was a boy got hold of me. Should we go in then? I'm grieving, Anthony. Of course you are. When my mother died, Jesus, I couldn't see colors anymore. My mom's coming apart. She needs new hips, but she can't get them because her heart and lungs are cooked. She's 
Not long for it. You think not? Oh, I know. And will you take over the farm? I will. But you can't. I must go. It's too much. You do it. I don't. And what I do get done, it murders me. It's no work for a woman, I'll tell you that. I can hold my own. What about pulling cars? I'll hire someone then. Takes money. We're all right. So what would Tony do with the farm if he did leave it to you? He might give it to the church. Well, if it's too cheap, he'd sell. He wouldn't get his price for it. Why not? Who would take it on without the road? All oh, right. No one else would sign on without that strip of land by the road. Maybe not. Be realistic. No one else would open two gates just to get to your own front door. You do. And look at me. So you're lucky then. How am I lucky? Well, you can't sell it without right away. And too cheap to give it to the church, so you'll come to it by default. Unless your mom says it back to him now that your dad's gone. And why would she do that? Well, it's the right thing. I don't know. Oh, you do know. It was part of our farm for well wide of a hundred years. And, and it wasn't. It does your place no good. I think it does. You couldn't graze one heifer on that patch. And half of it's covered with fence. Do you really mind it so much? I do. At the first gate, I see me father's stupidity. And at the second, your man's greed. May he rest in peace. Greed, is it? That little bit cost us 200 pounds. Even 35 years ago, 200 pounds was nothing. Oh, sure. Still, it was 200 pounds, and he could have bought himself a new shotgun. Can't you go Him with that shotgun, he'd go after the crows like Satan. <laughs> he loved hating the crows. He did. He was perfect. He was. He was. Do you hate me? Why did you ask? I hear you hate me, your man said. Well, she's talking an awful lot tonight, isn't she? I don't hate you. I just don't like you much. <laughs> Why not? I fell out here a bit of a lump. How's that? You never do anything. I work all day and half the night. Sure, to keep things going the way they already were, but where's your stamp? I'm not in the business of stamping. I'm in the business of carrying on what was going on when I stepped on the bus. But then it's like you're nobody. I don't need to shout my name. God knows me. I'd as soon go unnoticed. But you've got to push back man now and then. You can't let people, Tony or no one, destroy your chance. Go in there and face him down. I don't like a fight. Who does? Half of Ireland, just not me. <laughs> to live that way. So you just let him run ruin over you? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, get out of this place, why don't you? The land isn't holding you. It is, though. Don't be a luck yourself. You saw the white heather. Let it be a sign. Get past Mullingar. I'm useless. Not you. Go somewhere and set up fresh. I'll do what I want, and you can go to the devil. What are you hot about? <laughs> Trying to push me out. I'm the one that's on the point of being driven out, maybe? Maybe. Have you ever seen Swan Lake? It's that. A ballet. A ballet? I've never seen a ballet. All right, well, I am the white swan. When did you see a ballet? My dad took me to one. It doesn't sound like him. It was him. He took me to Swan Lake and he told me that I was the white swan. And so I am. I thought he hated birds. Just crows. <laughs> A man like that at the ballet. I guess I never knew. To watch him walk was to know there was grace in the world. He had the blood of kings in him. He kept his counter like a king, that sure. No one knew his mind. I did. And sure, he wasn't much of a talker. But he always had his reasons, as do I. Then tell me this if you know. Why did your dad buy that right way? Because your dad came begging. You'd like to think so. My man wanted a loan is all. Either way. There was no hat in hand. Bloody hell, his hand was out. Would you stand there and lord it over us? Would you stand there and break the hand? Have you never heard a 
gratitude. I'll tell you what I've never heard. I've never heard a decent speech of you or yours about the subject of your family's shortcoming. Shortcoming? What shortcoming? Are you blind as well? Sure, if you want, I can name it. The Muldoon's larceny. The Muldoon's what? Should, Are you daft? You should wake you at night what you people have done. What we've done? What have we done? You should thank Christ for a good neighbor. Well, it's to that. You've had us by the throat for 35 years with your land grabbing, and why? Why did your dad want our right away? Because you pushed me down, that's why. You <laughs> shoved me and left me crying in the yellow grass. And I would have mine back, I would, and ran to my dad. So now you have two gates between you and what's yours, and I hope you like it. Because there's none to blame but yourself. You don't mean it. Oh, I do. Jesus, Mary, was you behind that? You shoved me like I was nothing. I don't even remember the day. But I remember. And now I own that parcel, and you do not. You mean your mom. No, me. I own it. And I'll never stop. Why not? Because my boy said no. Fine, do what you want then. The lot of you are too much for me altogether. Because you won't fight for what's yours. Why don't you just move to Wicklow and then you can moan after your last love till death takes you. I'll ignore you now. Nothing new there. I don't understand you. Why bring up Fiona? The black swan. What you do at your time? Why have you never married? Why haven't you? I was ruined after Fiona. Oh, Fiona, Fiona. I know, but there it is. Well, I'm thinking of going to China. Just like that. That's right, in a flash. Fine, have a nice trip. Take a chance. When? When I'm ready. The Olympics caught your fancy, eh? I like the Chinese. They're proud. Why do you look at me when you say that? Because your pride is where? What would I be proud about? Oh, you're right. What would you? I'm stumped. I'm just a long-suffering man. It's no one's fault. I'm, I'm not to be understood. Not even by me. Well, what are you now? Deep waters? <laughs> I'm nothing. You saw your father gone as I have this day. Chris Muldoon gone. <coughs> he was part of everything. And now, that part's where? Like the fog wiped from a glass. And what am I given that? A tiny thing, certainly. Jesus, my own father scheming to rob me, me bar. Then fight for it. Or wash me hands. Oh, now you're Punch's pilot. Maybe so, it's too much. There's no reward for the work I've done. It must be that I don't deserve any. It must be that I've done nothing right. You mean you've done nothing? I'm mad tired for a man who's done nothing. Then wake up and live. Oh, do what you want, you always have. And you can see where it's gotten you. You're at the point of being pushed out. Pushed out? When was I ever in? Among people? They'll eat the legs out from under you, you know. You know what? I'll tell you. I've had enough. I'm going flying. Flying is it? Where's your wings? Walking. Go then. Stay off the road. No roads for me. Off into the fields. See you in church. Or it won't. Turn the lights off when you're done. Take note of your cattle. You're like a brother to them. See you, church. <laughs> There's the green fields and the animals living off of them. And over that, there's us living off the animals. Over us, there's that which tends to us. When you say those things out to me, I know I have a soul. Good luck to him and to me. Showing. It's a shame the lack of parking at our church, though. It's a 
charge? They should charge, should they? That's a good one. Half of Kalugan would renounce the faith. <laughs> and what great faith have they then? Not much. And what about you? Do you have faith? Me? I barely devout. It was Mary kept the candles lit. I believe. In what? I believe in everything. You do not. I do. I believe in everything. Oh, here she is. It's time to rush. Stay on your chair. No, this is it. I'm up. Back up. Sit down again. Is is Anthony behind you? He went walking in the fields or flying. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Once he starts in with that, he won't be seen till morning. Rosemary, it's time we said our goodbyes. No, stay down. I'm going to make tea. We should leave Tony sleep. No, we shouldn't. All right, then. I have a cup. What's that look, Anya? I hope you have no heart in this. In what? What we say now will not be repeated. Tell me there's no truth in what I just heard. What did you hear? This is Anthony's farm. Oh, Jesus, don't involve yourself, Rosemary. Tony's right, Rosemary. This is their own business. Steer clear, Mother. Tony Riley, do yourself a service and do not cross me. Easy. Don't overstep now. Ever since Mary died, your judgment, which was never good to begin with, has faltered worse. She's right about that, Tony. She's not. I think I can manage me own farm. If that were true, you'd own it. To the road. I heard your names on that strip of land, Rosemary, and I can tell you now, you will be selling it to me. I told them it was yours. Don't fault me. I don't. I fault you. Why would you ever take him to nine Anthony what's rightfully his? Leave it! If you want to talk to me about the road, you will talk to me about Anthony. What there is to say, I won't say. I'm bound by an oath made on a Bible not to speak of certain things. About Anthony? His mother made me swear. Have faith that I know what I'm about. I have no such faith. You've kept him down all his life, and you've done it with the promise of this farm. Not a word of truth. I've shielded him on every side, and his interest will be seen to. But the farm will not be his. You have no idea what you're up against, Tony Riley. You might as well try to stop the calendar from your name and the days. I've been older than all of you since I was born. I'm sure, I ate for my own youth. I pray that day may I come. But not at the price of now. What are you talking at? When a person knows what will be, and I have always known, the likely I should stand aside. What are you saying? What do you know? Anthony Riley and I were born on two farms side by side, and we will die side by side, and no old fool trying to push his power at sunset will bungle that. Rosemary, you have secrets of your own, and once they're out, they're out. I have no secrets. I buried my dear father today, and I will lose no more. Are you in love with Anthony? More than love. Don't be. I don't care what happens beyond one thing. I will be on the one farm, and he will be on the next. Rose. Mom, look at me and take pity. You'll leave me soon. Well, sure, it's true. I can't deny it. Well, I feel that grief never more than today, but what preserves me? There's no one there safe roads after. He's not normal. You don't care what he is. <laughs> and if you're bound by a damn oath, then keep it. You don't care about anything but that. That man have his land and my house be hard by Rosemary. He'll never marry. Well, then. Neither will I. And I will be in the one house, and he will be in the next. There's your tea. There's much of your father in you. I'm proud to know it. Two little old dogs. No, I am a swan. I will not let this farm die with Anthony. You will not do this. You will not do that. So what will you do? He means to say.
sell it to his brother's son. In America? He'll come and take over. And go through the two gates. He wants the road. Well, I'm here to tell you he'll never get it. You will not tell me how to dispose of me own property. And you'll have no sway over mine. Drink your tea. Don't order me in the own house. No one owns a house. I own mine. It was handed to you. I gave my life to it. And Anthony his. He's not a writing. Is that what you're about, your name? He takes after his mother's father, John Kelly. He does in the face. And in the head. John Kelly puts his dog on trial for slander. <laughs> when was that, a hundred years ago? Less than seventy. You're the one who's daft. Say what you want, blood will tell. You're just talking right now, a lot of bloody nonsense. Yeah. Antony doesn't love the farm. What's can't hold here isn't love, old man. Who do you think you are? It's pride. She's right, Tony, you're out of bounds. Oh, you're the referee now. And what mother is it? Now stop trying to bully the room. This is my kitchen. Oh, sure, look at it. From the look at that table and the squalor and the sink, you think the cat will took the meals along with you? There's grease on the walls and a pizza box on the floor. Drink your tea, you damn savage. Can't be master what comes after your time, and your time is nigh well done. Don't say such a thing, it's morbid. If he can pay a test to me, so can I. Promise me you'll drop this plan, or I swear by the stars, I'll kill you myself. I <laughs> promise not. Do you think I won't lay hands on you? I'll tell you a mortal blow. Rosemary! If Anthony were a man true and true, if he were a writer, he would have at me instead. And if you were a man down to your heart, you wouldn't have hurt him with your loveless ways. What are you talking about? It's Antony that loves those fields, not you. So what if his love makes him suffer? You just want to go on and on. You're selfish. And what are you? I'm strength, for now. He'll never be the man I am. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> He's done everything for you, and you sat there like a king for 20 years. When was the last time you stayed up in the New York? Put the head right in killed a rat. You're fooling no one with that captain's hat. It's Anthony that runs the show, and you're nothing but the dummy in the window. I've earned some rest. So lie down. Who's stopping you? But he'll never marry. Look at it. The place would go to auction. It's not right. Trust in God, Tony. Sure, life has its surprises. That it does. I've um, I've been to the doctor and um, I froze my eggs. What? You what? Mother of God! So surprises, as you say, frozen your eggs. To the purpose of what? I keep my options alive. Okay. Jesus, Rosemary, be careful. Don't rampage over the natural order of nature. What nature's only my own life I'm playing with? Your rights, then. You can't rage forward without a room. I know exactly where I'm going. Well, I hope it works out for you. Anthony is a bit slow. <laughs> slow, is it? You should have frozen your whole body if you're waiting for that. <laughs> I believe it will come to me. He'll never marry. You don't know that. I have reason to do it. The farm goes to Anthony. Say it. Say it. Well, don't answer wrong with wrong, Rosemary. Don't bully the man. Mother. Don't. Think of his mother. Do you remember his mother? Remember her? What are you saying? She was me life. But that's it, Tony. That's the question. What would his mother want? What would Mary want? She's gone. I can't be taken that way. <laughs> Sitting by that stove she'd be. Her 
Ivory Coast. Oh, but they're to see right now. And Anthony on her knee with a piece of turf in her hand. What did she care except for her children? Sure, Anthony was the apple of her eye. And she was a Kelly. Oh, true and true. And what would Mary Kelly say if she saw this farm taken from her only son because he was a Kelly? I can't think about it. What was that song she used to sing as she washed a dish? Will you go, lassie, go? And we'll all go together to go wild mountain time. Stop! She was love itself, and Anthony was her baby boy. I'm only trying to do what's right. Right for who? For the farm. The farm doesn't know a thing about rights. <laughs> and it won't know. You're trying to serve the righties at the expense of the Kellys. Even if in doing so, Tony, you'd overturn the living issue of your one true love. Do you know why my dad went to war with Rose Tony? He was shaking his fist. His only son failed to live and he was shaking his fist. You have a son. Do you want more than that from the sky? Are you after being struck down? Well, are you? I hope you never know what it is to be old. And I know you'll never understand what it is to be a man. But all right. All right, what? Anthony gets the farm. Oh, thanks be to God. Good. <laughs> but mark my words, he's John Kelly all over again. And that man talked to turkeys about politics. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a long time ago. That it was. Can we go home now before the battery of my pacemaker runs down to zero? <laughs> we can. We'll go home. After these out there in the field somewhere, but I've known that. But we'll go home. Where I am to wait. That would be years. Good enough. And may patience and silence rule the world. Mm -hmm.